Hey folks, welcome back. Um, so I guess I'm going to continue work on these 3DS consoles here. I have in front of me the parts enough to build two completely working consoles, but it's going to be quite a bit of uh, work to get there. Uh, this is formerly the white console. I've designated this one as just a parts console. I'm not going to bother fixing it because it does have some water damage and it looks somewhat extensive. I could spend hours and hours and hours troubleshooting this, but in the end I still might not even get it working. And even if I do, it needs a bottom screen, it needs a top screen. Yeah, the, I just, I don't think it's worth it. Plus this case is all fucked up. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this one for parts. I'm probably going to have to strip the top half of this shell for the cameras, the speakers, uh, pretty much all the electronics beside the uh, screen itself. Uh, I do have a brand new screen that arrived that I was originally planning on putting in this shell before I realized that this shell is cracked right in half. So this screen is going to be going into the uh, original white console here that doesn't seem to work. So we'll replace that screen, and we might have to replace all the other electronics. That's why, oops, sorry. That's why I might have to pull that stuff. Um, but we'll save that. Actually, no, we'll, we'll get started on that right now. Um, the ribbon cable I thought I fucked up actually turns out is, the, uh, is not the screen cable. So that's good news in that it means I didn't fuck this up. It was already broken when I started. If that doesn't sound like good news, trust me it is. It makes me feel better. But, because I did potentially mess up one of these ribbon cables, that's why I might have to pull parts. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get started by just pulling this motherboard out of here and we'll see if it if I can get it to work without or with that new screen And uh, if that works, then that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing, putting that new screen in here. And that is probably, no, that is definitely going to be a long video. So buckle in, I guess. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in my earlier videos. Um, the reason I think it's the top screen that's not working or that's causing this thing to not boot. This is my US model, by the way, that did work fine before I started fucking with it. Um, I believe it's the top screen because the bottom screen flashes for a split second and then it powers off. The top screen does nothing. In other model DS consoles, such as the original DS, the uh, DS Lite, DSi, so on and so forth, if you ever get your console and it's not booting, but one of the screens does flash for an instant, it usually means that that screen is not plugged in or something, or the screen itself is broken, or the ribbon cable, whatever. Uh, I I'm not very familiar with 3DS consoles, but I assume the same is true. I mean, they are basically the same platform. Okay, I think that should be enough to get the motherboard out. So yeah, when I saw that the bottom screen was flashing and the top screen was doing nothing, I assumed that the issue was the top screen. Okay. So let's try this out. Plug this back in.
Though in theory I only need to plug in the uh, backlight. These consoles are designed in such a way that um, if there's no load from the backlight detected, they'll shut off. I don't know if that's like a safety thing or if that's just like a, a quirk of the hardware itself or what. We'll use this one because that doesn't have anything attached to it. All right, so. If all goes as planned, plug this battery in so I don't have to keep manipulating it. This should boot up just by plugging this in. No, still powers off. Maybe it does need the cameras. Interesting. Or maybe I fucked up this board. I wouldn't be surprised. Definitely be disappointed. I'm not surprised. Yeah, nothing. I'm gonna turn off the light. Still get a flash on the bottom screen here. Let me, before I go any further, let me double check, make sure it's not the bottom screen itself. Because this screen is also out of a water damaged console. I believe this screen works fine though. So if you guys are coming from my last video, watching this one, you're probably thinking, wait, didn't you say you were going to work on that PS Vita? And, well, I did. I started working on it. There is even a video that I'm working on, but I'm not going to upload that until I uh, finish that video. Oh, that's not even the... That was never going to work. But I need to order parts for that Vita. So, wait till I get the parts to finish and upload that. Same thing. Bottom screen flashes, top screen does nothing. All right. So now I'm going to do a sanity check one last time before I start digging into other consoles. I'm going to unplug that, plug in the unknown screen. And the top half of this console should work fine. So I'll plug it back in. See how far I get. Ugh. I'm having flashbacks. The first time I tried this stupid freaking thing. Okay. Without plugging the rest of that in. Let's see if this works. Where'd my battery go? There it is. Turn 
that light off. So I get a blue light. And then nothing. Okay, so maybe we need this thing plugged in too. Whichever this is, probably cameras or something. In which case, if that's the case, then maybe I did fuck it up, but I didn't need a screen. One more try. Blue light. Just a flash. What the hell? Oh, it's not holding the battery in all the way. light. There it goes. Come on. So this top screen is black. That's kind of not great. And of course that touch screen doesn't work because it's not hooked up. Okay, well, screw a safe shutdown. That top screen might just not be plugged in all the way or something. I don't know. I'm going to try unplugging this ribbon cable. Just to try and narrow down what exactly it is that's not working on that other console. Come on. There we go. Plug this one back in. And we'll try it out one more time. I just get a blinking red light. I think that's a battery issue. There we go. Now I got a blue light, and it comes on. So, oops, that means this component is to blame, whatever this is. So I didn't fuck it up, haha. <laughs> also, now I know that this bottom screen works. Set that aside. Ah, I'll leave that plugged in because I'm not going to be working on that. Okay, now I need to work on this. So I'm going to take all the buttons and shit out of it. Or maybe not. I'll just let them fall out as we go. I need to take this off. So I'm going to go grab a, uh, well shit, I don't have to go anywhere, it's right there. I thought I had suction cup and I'm going to use a little bit of heat. To just soften this up here. I just got my heat gun on uh, low here, and I'm just hitting the screen with it. I'm using my fingers really as a temperature sense. If it gets too hot for my fingers, chances are pretty good it's getting too hot for the plastic. And it doesn't need to be super hot, but a little bit of warm is good enough. Okay, so this is not working. I'll just try jamming something in there. 
I don't want to mark this thing up though. I want to use this. Problem is I can't put the suction cup closer to the edge because of these speaker holes. Hmm. I may have to revise my strategy. This is clearly not working. It's also barely even warm. Let's start at the top. Middle by the camera, perhaps. Oh, I just broke my tool. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna, of course, give the camera a quick bit to try and cool down. I'm also gonna try and figure out the best way to take this off without destroying anything. I'll be back. Okay, so I got it lifted. To get it started, what I did, you lift the, uh, turn 3D all the way up, and then this plastic pry tool happens to fit perfectly in that gap underneath the screen lens. And once you've got it going, you just need to peel it up here. And heat definitely helps. So does profanity this thing is stuck down and not meant to come up. Okay. Set that aside. Might reuse it. Might use one of my new ones. Haven't decided yet. Nonetheless, that's what a 3DS looks like without that top part. And I do genuinely think this looks better, especially on the white one. It's kind of a shame there were no uh, white lenses there. But that is an absolute pain in the ass to remove. Not too concerned about fucking it up because I do have spares. And in hindsight, I should have started with the uh, black console. The one that I'm not afraid to mess up cosmetically because it's already messed up pretty badly. But, yeah. Okay. So what, that was like six screws or something. It looks like there's places for extra screws that mine didn't come with. Don't know why that is, but whatever. And then it should, it being the top, I thought it just slides off like the original consoles. Oh darn, I was trying so hard not to touch the screen. I'm gonna have to clean it. Oh well. It's not coming up. Does it just lift off? Again, this is why doing the black one first might have been smart. Or at least, I don't know, preparing. Oh, uh, there we go. More adhesive. Wonderful. That's off. It's that side. Now to figure out what in here is actually broken, which module is which, I'm going to take this apart.
And so these things are pain in the ass. The hinges come out from the top, not from the inside like all the other consoles. And I have yet to find a good way to get them out without ruining anything. So I'm kind of glad I took this apart because there is some serious water damage in here. I mean, I kind of knew that going in, but I feel better now that I've gotten this far. Like I'm not wasting my time. Again with shit that's designed not to come apart. Maybe it's supposed to come out this way. How do I hope not? Make sure I get my tool in there. I would not be surprised though. Yeah, that's not happening. Sort of flex it a little bit. Oh, you know what? I should have done that from the start. The curved tweezers, you can kind of angle in there. That would have helped me get it started. Now they don't seem to do much. Another option, I suppose, you could drill a hole right there and just push. Oh, I think I got it now. Yep. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now that that's out enough, you can lift this out, but be careful because there's still three ribbons over here, plus this antenna. And this is the worst part, bar none. Try and get them positioned one at a time, and then I should be able to get all three. Or, let's try this instead. There's a little slot in there. If you can get them all to go in, you get a little bit more Negotiate wiggle room to negotiate. There we go. Nope. Okay, can we put this off to the side then? I don't even see. Oh, there it is. It's under the screen. Now, if you guys are coming to my video to see the proper way to do this, just letting you know this is only the second time I've ever done this. And the first time I struggled with it literally for hours. I think I watched half a season of uh, Grand Tour while I did this. Okay, now that that's out of my way. Oh, 
Christ. Okay. I lied before. That wasn't the worst part. The worst part is yet to come. The worst part is getting all three of these ribbons through this little metal center bit. You can use the long one to wrap up the other two. So you have to wrap them absurdly tight. And you can't just take one out, you have to take out all three. It's a uh, family. At the very least though, you can use that metal collar to try and hold everything in place. Oh, got a screw I missed. There is what looks like a single screw holding the uh, 3D selector and the speaker in. Antenna, that's all loose. Okay. Okay, <sighs> good lord. So the one I said I broke was this long one here, which, shit. That is the part that I do not have spares of, aside from in the uh, other console. It is the uh, speakers and the little indicator light. But I might be able to save it. There's some corrosion on this part here, right where my thumbnail is. Instead of diving into this though, I'm just gonna set it aside, I don't really give a shit about it. Um, instead of trying to save it, I'm gonna pull the one from this console. Screwdriver. Because I know the one in this console is not damaged. Or at least I hope it's not damaged. If it is, though, I do know it works because this console did boot. Well, not this particular console, but the, the guts in the top half of the shell. You know what I'm trying to say. Even if I don't. Oh, that's not coming out because I never lifted the bale. Oopsie doodle. Here we go. Alright, so my goal tonight here is to get two more working consoles. See, look at how much easier that is.
There we go. I have lost a single button. I'm not sure how that happened. Just a single button. Okay, now that I've got all the screws out, and I already know the trick. And I said, and I already know the trick. This is not going very smoothly. Oh, it is. I'm just not paying as much attention as I should. Okay. Set that aside gently. And one screw. Let's take out the hinge, my tweezers. Gotta take out the uh, plastic shroud and the light pipe. And yeah, definitely tweezers make a big difference there. And to get all this out, I might be able to, might not have nearly as difficult a time. Yeah, what the fuck was up with that? All right. Okay, so now that I've got that apart, I'm going to take this motherboard and at some point, better organization might be helpful. That point is not now though. Um, this top half we're going to use that connector actually you know what this probably needs to be installed with the screen so let's take all this out oh, before I do that I forgot to wrap this up oh. That's not coming off, not easily.
probably going to pause the video here soon. Again, the camera's heating up, but I don't I can't imagine you can actually see much of what I'm doing. And I don't have any useful commentary. <laughs> like I ever have useful commentary. I'm about to get this out though. Jesus. Alright, I'm going to leave that camera module attached. It's probably fine, but... I hope I didn't just damage these speakers with all the screws that stuck to them. This is why I need a bigger workspace. I should convert my uh, L desk into a workspace. Switch back to this as a computer desk. Well, who am I kidding? I'll still run out of room. Okay. That's the good module. Set that aside. That's the broken one. Okay, so here's the good screen. And if the camera... And where was I? Sorry, camera cut out, wasn't paying too much attention. Um, I don't know, think about something. So I've got the uh, good module from the Brocast 3DS hooked up to the brand new screen. And uh, well, let's try it out, see how far we get. I'm going to hook in the module. Ah, uh, shoot, does it go? I think it goes contacts up. And then... I thought I had one set aside. Oh, there it is. Absolute mess, but should be good enough. And if this works, then we can put it together. Got a blue light. Ah, aha. Oh, that is entirely too fucking loud. Look at that, both screens work. The input's going crazy because there's no um, slider connected. But I think that's the ticket. Let's put this together. Again, I can't really do shit with this. Can you get this battery out? It doesn't fit right. There we go. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. Okay. So we are putting this in the Hoyt shell, which is right here. 
that'll go in here. But I need a camera module as well. Okay, so mistakes were made. Rest assured, there's plenty of free space on my camera now, so we should be good to go going forward. I've got the uh, screen in here. Uh, I still got the protective layer on it. I'll peel that off later. Uh, I've got the speakers and the 3D module in here. I didn't put the screw in yet. Let's do that right now. Hopefully we won't need to remove it. And last but not least, we need a camera module. I'm going to pull, not this one, the screen might be fine, and that camera module might be fine, or untested, but I'm going to use the one that I am fairly confident does not have any water damage. Use the one from the broken LCD. All right. And my cat is going to be loud because, I don't know, he's not a very quiet cat. Eh, I'll run that later. First we're going to do, see this is why this part sucks. We want this one on the outside. No, I think we actually want the LCD itself on the outside. Which means I'm going to try and straighten these out. Just the two. There we go. And I can't put that on the outside. That has to be on the inside. Shoot. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. That has to be on the inside. So in order, I believe we want the LCD. Then the camera module. Then the uh, 3D module the skinny one. And then I've got to find some way to get all three of these through that hole. Let me find this metal collar and pop it in there. And I still got the hinge in there. Okay. might be within my best interest to try and tape this stuff down because I have two ribbons that really want to bend and one that really does not on account of one of them being brand new. And I absolutely do not know the best way to handle this. Uh, this is probably going to involve lots of swearing. And I'm thinking I might try and work on this off screen. Just because I have a feeling this is going to take me a while. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I can work with this. Nope, never mind. I just lost it. I'm thinking though, if I tape these two ribbons together, the two big boys here, might make my life a lot easier. 
let me find there was a piece of tape the screw out because I got to be able to move this stuff around so I think I'm not even on framing you fuck okay think I have no idea how Nintendo does this from the factory props to them for figuring it out though cuz I bet they have a machine do it I'm not having a good time. I'm just going to send this one through. Ugh. that didn't just get destroyed. Alright, now I'm going to try to get these two Once I've got these fed through, I think I should be home free. Almost like I shouldn't just leave screws everywhere. I don't know what moron put all these screws here. Okay, and so I've managed to get He's all tangled up now. But this needs to sit flat. Oh, that might work. There we go. 
Oh my goodness. That was rough. Okay. I'm gonna run this wire for the screen. And I'm not gonna bother cleaning up all those little spots of rust or whatever they are, because they're just they're not hurting anything being there. They're all on the plastic anyway. No one's gonna see it aside from the few hundred people who watch this video. anyone who's watching my video sees me doing something clearly, obviously wrong, please, please, please speak up. Not just, I mean, I don't care so much on my end to do it right, but I don't want to spread misinformation. I don't want to, like, say, oh, this is definitely the best way to do it when there's an easier way, an e um, way that works better, more reliable, less likely to break something, or so on. Now, we're going to put that back in here. And if I'm correct, they should already be in the correct rotation, which is not the correct order. I just got to feed them through this crack here. And I think I'm having a hard time because of this tape on here. Let me pull that off. Or I'm having a hard time because this is just freaking awful. Okay. Now that that's through. Let me feed this antenna. And we should be good. I'll work those in there. Then reinsert the hinge. Before I do that, I'm going to screw this back down. That'll help hold everything in place while I flip it over. Make sure those are good. Those look good. They feel tight though. They might be one rotation too many or something. Oh, you know what? Hang on, hang on. Before I do that, I want to wipe this down. Because it is impossible to clean in there once you've got it assembled. Here, I'm, I'm going to pause real quick. Wipe this down. I'll be right back. Okay, I was going to regret that every single time I use this console if I didn't. I just took a little bit of glass cleaner on a uh, microfiber rag. Well, that went in easier than I thought. And uh, ran it in the gap while I held it at an angle. It was, it was awkward. Definitely do it before you put the ribbon in. Um, now I need to hold everything in. Set this down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you install this, very important that you put your 3DS slider back in, or 3D slider. Where the hell does this go? Like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to start putting screws in to hold this down. I'm 
not going to put that lens back on till the very last step, though. Because I've got to do plenty of testing. And probably a little bit of cleaning before I get to that point. And I really don't want to have to remove it again if I don't have to. Okay. Boom. Now I'm going to put the uh, light pipe back in. Should only go in one way. And there's a little plastic shroud. Start running this cable here. Oop, I got too much slack. I'm just trying to line up the existing uh, landmarks in the cable. Just so I have the proper amount of slack on it when I reach the end. find the wet spot. My cloth here. Maybe I should take a few minutes to clean this out too. Yeah, fuck it. Good enough. I won't be so butthurt about not cleaning this up. amount of um, light pipes. There are two in the front here you want to make sure are installed. One by the wireless selector and then one in the hinge itself. I think, yep, we also want to put in the Wi-Fi switch. I don't know which way this goes. Oh shit, and I don't have another console to check it on. I think goes like this, but I'll know soon enough. Christ. There we go. Uh, and I think that's it. So we should be good to go to finish this up. I'm going to detach this screen. So something happened that absolutely no one could have predicted. Uh, camera overheated. So uh, I took a few minutes to go ahead and clean up all the uh, buttons and button holes with some isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab. But other than that, I think we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the final assembly here, which consists of taking this motherboard, which I'm fairly confident is the one I mean to install, and uh, we're going to install it here. And if all goes as planned, I will have successfully shell shot shell swapped this 3DS that worked perfectly fine before I started this video series. Got that one plugged in. Uh, 
I also opted for, instead of the white screen, to use one of the black ones. Um, the white screen, while it does have show some signs of uh, water damage, it's not really in that bad shape. I just decided for uh, aesthetics here to get the black border. Yeah, what the hell, why not? Uh, before I continue though, I think I'm missing a piece. So the volume winds up just fine, but I think there should be another piece that goes in there. Probably this thing. Um, I assume I want to get it in there before I go any further. So it'll probably make my life A lot easier. Okay. I think that's it. The touch screen connector. Backlight. And it should be good to screw down. What am I missing? Screwdriver, there we go. Oop. Just kidding. Okay, so I ran into this problem when I was putting together that black 3DS, and I never actually did anything about it on camera. But you gotta make sure that this Wi-Fi connect or this Wi-Fi switch. Is, uh, is below. The physical plastic part needs to be below the uh, black plastic switch that actuates. Because uh, it is spring-loaded, so... Um, if you don't, your Wi-Fi will be stuck pretty much permanently whichever way it was, either on or off, until you take it apart and fix it. banking on this work in here. But if this doesn't work, I think I've uh, just about exhausted my patience. took me what two seconds Ugh. I have concerns because it's not going together very smoothly and it absolutely should be should be more than good enough for testing. So let's do that. Let's test it out. So 
So, while I'm doing this, I suppose I can try and take my mind off it. It'll make it easier. Um, I've been getting into comics quite a bit recently. A while back, I picked up a uh, manga bundle on Humble Bundle, uh, the Kodansha Bundle. Uh, that included a whole bunch of stuff. It was like a, the anime to movie bundle or whatever the hell it was. Or manga to movie. And there's a whole lot of good stuff in there. Ghost in the Shell, uh, Alita, Battle Angel, or Gunnam, depending on what you know it from. And, uh, you know, I've been nerding out pretty hardcore with that stuff. But it has come to my attention that I don't really have a good reader. So I've been looking around for uh, trying to do some pricing, figure out if I want to pick something up, want to just grin and bear it with what I have, whatever. So I've been using my uh, Acer Switch Alpha 12 as a reader. And uh, that's been working pretty good. It's, for those who don't want to look it up, it's basically a uh, Surface Pro 3 clone. So exact same form factor, in fact, exact same LCD even, uh, but it uses a different digitizer, a much, much, much worse digitizer. But other than the digitizer, I think the Acer version is superior than the Surface. Um, I've been using that. It has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio. And I'm really happy with it, except that it's a little bit big, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, so that's. So, what I'm getting at, where I'm going with this, I'm wondering if you guys have any suggestions for readers. Uh, I'd like something approximately in the 8 inch range. Well,. Let me get into my, my other reader. I've been using this as an e-book reader, not as a comic reader. I have a uh, Xiaomi Mi Pad 2, which is essentially a iPad mini clone, except it's it runs Windows, um, Windows 10. And that thing's also pretty cool, but that thing has some serious storage constraints. The only port on it is a USB-C for charging, uh, so you're stuck with the built-in memory and nothing else. And so, run out of space super quick between Windows and all your comics and shit. Um, so that's not really a good alternative. But I'm looking for something like that, preferably with a 3 to 2 aspect ratio screen. But I'll settle for 4 to 3 or even 16 to 10. But I'm just wondering if you guys have any personal recommendations. I'm looking at the uh, One Mix 2 or whatever the hell it is. Not the 3, not the 8.4 inch one, but the 7 inch one. And I think that one might be a good candidate. I like that it has the uh, digitizer tablet pen input. I also, more importantly, like that it has plenty of expandable storage. But, I'm concerned because it might be a little bit expensive for what I want to use it for, at least. Okay, I think we're uh, pretty much good to go. I'm going to put it together as if I know it's going to work because I'm just that good. No, I'm not that good, but I also really don't want to take this thing apart again. So, I'm just hoping. Okay. But also, if I do it this way, I can actually test everything out. It's just going to work. It's just going to work work. Trust me, it'll work. Turn the light off, moment of truth. Got a 
Blue light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, no. <laughs> Fucking fuck, fuck. So same symptoms as before I went through that whole ordeal. This stupid thing. but it might also be the screen that might not be plugged in fully. I really think it is, or rather, I hope it isn't. Oh, okay. That thing just wasn't seated. Booyakasha. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Oh, this thing definitely isn't hacked, I swear. All right. Turn this off. Oops. Accidentally pulled the battery. <laughs> oh. Believe me, there were concerns. I think I already swapped over my cereal plate because this is the bottom panel that was on there, and there's no cereal plate in there anymore. And there is one in here. But, it says JPN, so I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. I'll have to run like 3DS Ident or something on it. Or I'll just go into God Mode and it'll... Should be able to look it up from there or I'll dump my OTP or something again. By the way, um... While I'm doing this, on that other console, the black one that I finished putting together, here's something weird. So on the SD card itself, oh, does this one use the black screws on the bottom? I'm guessing it does, because that's what I have a lot of. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, on that black one, the console was not hacked when I got it. Uh, there was no exploit on it, nothing. But on the SD card that was in it, was were, were dumps of the OTP and ARM9 and ARM11 files. What the fuck is going on here? And uh, you can only do that on a hacked console. So I'm thinking, even though that console was not hacked, at some point it was. The previous owner removed the hack, probably gave it to their kid or something because there were um, parental controls on it. I had to disable the pin. I found a site to do that, by the way. Just in case you're ever so unlucky. And then, to further increase the confusion, I could not get NTR boot to, to work on it. It just, you get the magnet in place, you press your uh, button combo, you get a blue light, and then it just turns off. I have absolutely no idea what the hell was going on with it, but it just was not working for me. Um, I ended up trying that seed miner hack, and it took significantly longer, but it did work, so I don't know what the hell is going on. I know what I'm doing with NTR boot, because I've done it to this console specifically, and two more before. It's fine. Just wouldn't work on that black one. Probably gonna regret putting in these stripped screws, especially that one. Oh fuck! 
don't know where that went. Okay. I'll need that at some point. But if there are any 3DS gurus out there watching my exploits, if you have any idea why NTR Boot was not working on that console, I'd love to hear from you. I tried two different flash cards, by the way. Three different SD cards. And I know both flash carts and SD cards worked fine because I tried them on my unexploited 2DS and uh, worked the first try, all the combos that I tried. So I don't know, it just it wasn't working. I am a complete and total moron. Half these screws are stripped. I am not having a good time with this. Okay, that one in. I need one more for there. Okay, let's pop on my big battery here. I really like the runtime this battery adds to the console. But I wish it worked with the dock as well. What the frick? That didn't see. And I broke the uh, screw thingies. Shit. Well, now I'm going to have to fix that. And I have no idea how I'm going to do so. Perhaps I shall employ adhesives. Oops. I'm supposed to hold that. I wasn't holding it. Oh well, I guess I can double check, make sure everything works. So I still have 3D, don't know how well you can see that. I have sound from both speakers. I have both L and R buttons. I have outer camera, 3D. I have inner camera. You can see my uh, recording camera and my forehead. Touchscreen's obviously working. I think we're good to go. I think all that's left is to peel off the protective layer on this screen, pop on the uh, the finger majigger, the lens, and we should be good to go. Today is not September, it is August 16th, yes. Two, 49, boom, and then I'll run the uh, thing that zeroes it out. But we'll just shut it off for now. There we go. Got to clean that bad boy up. And we're finally back to where I started. So now all that's left 
I want to put this together in my junk console. I'm going to do that off camera because I really don't give a shit if this works. But I think I want to put this together in here. And uh, the majority of the hard work should already be done. But I'm still going to probably give the camera a few minutes to cool down and go look for some buttons for this. I'm thinking I'm going to use the purple ones, because why not? Or should I do white? I can do white. I could do purple. I don't know. I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, for you guys, a few seconds. I was having some trouble with the wire management for the antenna here, so I ended up opting for hot glue. And I just, you know, put a little bit of hot glue down and then used my finger to ensure that it was nice and flat and squished around. Ah, this was a hassle. Uh, this is, of course, the aftermarket white shell, which um, has proven to be rather reluctant in its assembly. I've had multiple problems every step of the way. Um, of course, the all that's document or not really documented because this was before I was making videos, but such is life, I guess. But let's see if I can go ahead and get it together. I don't know what the hell I was smoking, but uh, these wires themselves seem a little bit short, too. And I'm not, even if I get this console reshelled and everything's working, I'm not done with it yet. I still have to repair the charge port on it. As is, the charge port does work, but it is somewhat intermittent. The pins in there are broken. And so it only works at certain angles. Or if you say please. Or, you know, when it's Tuesday. Whatever. Okay. Okay. There goes that. Hey, I got that right for the first time. The Wi-Fi switch works. So on that other console, the one with the super big extended battery, I ended up not using the super big extended battery. Oh shit, that screw goes on this. Oh, and that game was booted. Shit. Oh well. Maybe it'll be fine. Probably not. Um, yeah, I ended up ditching the battery because the uh, I didn't really notice this until after I took it off again, but all four of the freaking uh, screw posts were broken. So there was nothing but uh, thoughts and prayers holding it on, really. Shame, but 
what you gonna do? I think I'll um, might be able to come up with something to hold it on. Hopefully, but probably not. In the meantime, I just threw in a regular battery and the regular um, battery cover from the original white shell, which leaves this shell without a battery cover, but I don't know, I'll figure something out. I do have the aftermarket battery cover for this shell as well, but the, I don't know, one of the screws is missing, I don't know how that happened, and uh, one of the screws that's there doesn't have the right anchor, like it has a square nut on it instead of the uh, C-clip, so I don't, I really have no idea what the hell happened there. screw and two of the black ones does this use the long one or the short one I'm gonna guess the short one yeah it seems right I imagine if it were the long one I tried that out, I'd end up screwing it through to the other side. I would be very disappointed. Again, not surprised, but definitely disappointed. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video either. Uh, like I said, I was working on that PS Vita, but I stopped because I have to order parts. I did order a replacement charge port for this thing. So, I'll probably do a video on that when I get it. Just a separate video. But, until then what the purple buttons look like. I'm kind of digging it. I could use a purple uh, slider. That'd be pretty cool. That's locked down, that's locked down. Now, I'll use... Shit. I can't use this, because in my infinite wisdom, I decided to use the shoulder button from this. All right. I would use the uh, purple shoulder buttons in the white shell, but they're broken. And I, I, I don't mean the ribbon cables, these things. I mean the actual... Shit, so are these. Those might not work. Oh, but wait, no, this came out of a working. 3DS, so I don't know what's up with that corrosion. 
I might just be seeing things. But the uh, physical plastic buttons in that purple shell are kind of fucked up. Then again, they're probably good enough. I suppose we can answer that real quick. Well, there we go. <laughs> Aren't me? Okay. Oh, missing something. We need Ira Blaster. And an SD reader. I think this one will work fine. Did I plug in? No, I didn't. I need to plug in the uh, touch screen as well. Do that in just a sec here. Plugged in, that's plugged in. We need two screws. and type that's not sticking down the way it should whatever I'm sure it's fine Ooh, that keeps coming up I'll pay attention to that but should be good to go from here on out Try it out. Got a blue light, that's good. Oh yes! And everything works. Excellent. So this one I haven't really fucked with at all. I don't even know what firmware it's on because this thing hasn't had a working top screen. Find out. 7.1. Doesn't really matter, it's just interesting. Uh, but this is a Japanese version 3DS, and those of you guys that did not know, it's a US game. 3DS consoles are region locked. So if I try and play this on here, it shows up as the Japanese version. We try and launch it, and we get an error message. No idea what that says. You can uh, pause the game or video. And run Google Translate on it if you want, but I'm guessing it's saying something like region error or whatever. This won't launch. Uh, you can still, if you want, play original DS games, thankfully. And here's a cool thing not a lot of people know. If you hold start when you and then hit A to start the game, I don't know how long you have to hold it. There it goes. You can see that my game has a uh, black border on both screens. Uh, now it's running in pixel perfect mode, so nothing's going to be blurred. It should look a lot better. Granted, it's a lot smaller, but you know, just another option for you. I'll quit out of there. I'm probably going to hack this one as well and run a CTR transfer on it just because. I'd prefer it to be in English, um, but there's that.
can't really see because it's off to the side. I'm uh, not paying attention to my framing. There's that. Working perfectly. And there's this one. It's probably locked up. Oh no, it's still in game. That is... That's impressive. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what you get for ejecting the game while you're uh, not paying attention. But there we go. Three 3DS consoles. I started with one, so I think I'm in a pretty good position. I still got to put the bottom screws in this one. I still got to put the thingy on that. Um, but otherwise, I think I'm in a good spot. This one, I uh, just want to end on this real quick. This one started as a Japanese region console and of course it'll run my game there's no issues with that it doesn't give me an error message but because I did run a CTR transfer on this and because this was used on the eShop quite frequently apparently if I were to try and install the update for this download now Watch, it's going to work just fine now, of course. Well, never mind. Okay, go figure. Um, on CTR transferred consoles... Oh yeah, there it goes. The eShop doesn't always work. And uh, there's not really a fix for it. So, it's just a... Uh, just a risk you have to take. Now, of course, I can restore this to the original Japanese region. I do have a full backup of everything. Um, but then I'm going to have a Japanese UI. And I would prefer having no eShop as opposed to having it in Jap Japanese. Uh, I can always just download the update on one of my other consoles and then copy it over. It should be fine. Uh, since this thing is unlocked, I could just use uh, FBI to install it. No real big deal. Uh, but, you know, just something to be aware of. It does kind of suck because, um, yeah, this game in particular does have a game-breaking bug where if you save in that one city, I forget whatever the hell city it is, that big round one, and you're outdoors and you try and resume, your game will crash or something like that kind of shitty, but it is what it is. And uh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and finish up these two consoles off camera. Just going to wipe this down, peel off the protective layer, and then lay down... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use one of my new lenses or try and use those old ones. I'll, I'll review it, and then I'm just going to pop the screws in this one, and we're good to go. So, uh... Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know that was a super long video, but, you know, it's not very quick to take these things apart. Um, so, those of you that actually stuck with me, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for keeping me company. Um, otherwise, I hope you folks have an excellent evening, or afternoon, or whatever the hell. I don't know. I'm not your supervisor. Do what you want.